What is up, guys? Dan from Playbook.gg, and in today's episode of the Spread Series, we're going to talk about a way that you can attack those pesky Big Dime 146 and Dollar 326 Cover 2 Blitzes. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the Playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, in today's video, we're going to touch on a tip that we actually put out on this very channel not too long ago. Well, actually, when I think about it, it kind of was a long time ago, but we're going to revisit it today in the spread series. But we're also going to add a little bit of flair to it in the form of kind of a complimentary pass play. So that way your opponent just can't make a simple adjustment to it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about the gun slot offset. This is formation number two out of 33. So again, when we talk about this in the spread series, it's a lot easier to know your formations by number than by name, because as you go through it, you try to scroll through all these different formations. There's just a lot of playbook junk, a lot of stuff you don't want to touch, don't want to run, and it can be a little bit daunting. So again, guys, this is formation number two. Now, the real tip here in this particular video is that we're going to run the RPO read bubble, and we're going to run it with the auto motion player going from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field. Now, again, guys, this is going to attack your soft squat zones um, or your flat zones on the outside, your cover two shells, typically speaking. There are counters to this, but we are gonna go ahead and show you if your opponent wants to go ahead and put fire out on the field in the form of a DB fire two, uh, you know, a big dime 146 DB sting two buzz, nickel blitz two out of the nickel normal, any of those cover two blitzes with soft squats or playing cloud flat Tampa two, we could fight that fire with fire. So uh, what this does is this is going to basically put two icons on this RPO because this is a triple option RPO. This is a handoff with the quarterback to the running back, throw the bubble, or in theory, you could scramble with the quarterback as well. So uh, those are your three options. But what you're going to find is that in most cover two plays with soft squats, the player on the outside will have the P icon over his head, especially in the dollar and your big dime type sets. Uh, and they just tend to rush. Uh, again, they're the pass player. They're in conflict. Do I defend the run? Do I defend the pass? Of course, in a cover two, that player is in basically force assignment. He's responsible for setting the edge against the run. So he has to think, okay, do I play this handoff to Williams or do I uh, and play the cutback lane or do I play my pass assignment? And what happens is more often than not, they, they play the run. And you see right here, he rushes in. We throw that bubble outside. Now we're in a spot where we just have one guy to beat. We get a block on him. And if you actually have a faster running back than Shady McCoy, which I'm sure you guys do in Ultimate Team, you're off to the races. So this is something that you guys could throw pretty consistently against the cover two meta. Again, just let him go ahead and rush in, throw that rat catch to the outside. You see, if you get a block from that wide receiver on that safety, you end up picking up pretty major yardage. Now, the way that I personally find most players will end up countering this is by taking them out of that cloud flat assignment. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. So if we go to formation number two, we run the same play, RPO read bubble flipped. Uh, we're gonna run it to the wide side of the field. Let's say they were to call like a dollar formation uh, and they call like cover four. So in this play, obviously you see that the read man and the pass guy are two different guys. So again, you can still run this. Like if they commit, you know, you, you run it right here. Obviously we screwed up. We should have handed it off to the running back. But I, want, I wanted to show that in other shells, you will still sometimes see that the guy with the P icon over his head will actually play the bubble. I just noticed that in cover two is typically speaking where you see it more. So you can see right there, he actually went and tackled that guy, but um, uh, you can kind of see that we were able to uh, make a little bit of uh, something out of nothing there on that play with Mahomes. But uh, again, guys, this is something that's going to more so attack the cover two meta. Now, what people are going to typically do against you is they're going to take that player that's in the flat and they're going to change him. They're going to man him up. They're going to put him in a quarter zone. They're going to do a number of things that are going to allow you to uh, counter this. So this isn't something that you could just run over and over and over and the player will always blitz. It's just something that I wanted you to be aware of in general. Now, what there is on this play that is pretty nice is there is a nice little uh, post route to the backside. Now, the other thing about your, your cover two meta, typically speaking, is most players will go to the bubble screen because they want to make sure that you're going to, you know, if you throw it, that they're there to defend it. So... What this ends up with, um, if we would run this play stock, I'm going to go ahead and show you something real quick. We run this. A lot of times the user bails and they go out to that side. 
But what there really is on this play is a really nice post route. But the problem is you see that the soft squat plays man-to-man -man coverage on it. It makes it pretty rough. So, um, however, on the side of the actual auto motion, I hope you guys noticed that the player that is running the comeback route does get open because of the soft squat. So you see right here, this soft squat bites down on this player that was on the auto motion to the outside. So he will actually trap that throw, give you that throwing lane down the sideline. So let's say for some way or another, they're, they're pass committing and making it so their guy doesn't drop. You could actually throw this uh, route, this B route off the ball pretty easily. So watch, you're gonna see right here how he's gonna go ahead and bite down, throw that outside pass lead, click on, rat catch it down the sideline because you're trapping that soft squat into biting down on the auto motion. So that is something that you could do as well. Um, but another thing that you could do on this play is go ahead and trap the other soft squat. So um, what you'll see on this is you'll notice that the backside, this player is gonna stay in man lock on this post the entire way because there is no flat thread on this play. So what you can actually do is run Tyreek Hill to the flat and run that post over the middle. Now, keep in mind that more often than not, most of your opponents are going to use her in the middle of the field. Typically, that's your, your uh, mid-read zone. And that's going to open up this post. However, the computer is probably going to know. Actually, he doesn't. He he, he converted way late. Um, you see that there actually was a, a lane to throw that. Now, if they are leaving the computer in a soft squat zone, or I'm sorry, a mid-read zone in the middle of the field, um, you did see that that window is open. Throw it a little bit earlier. So you can see he's looking for work. Boom, throw that ball right there. You see that the mid-read's not going to get there on that throw. And the vertical hooks actually don't do anything really in the cover two shell either. So with this particular setup, I really like this because you're getting soft squat manipulation on both sides of the field. The post is open on the left. The comeback route breaks open on the right. And then the mid read zone is kind of caught in limbo. He doesn't really play the post. I could throw the ball right as the post cuts on the left, or I could dump this little throw underneath if there wasn't that three rack hook. Now, most players don't typically play a three rack hook. This is just a cover two uh, cover two zones called rat in the hole cover two where you drop a three rack hook or a spy defender underneath the middle linebacker uh, but in a traditional cover two or cover two sink you don't oftentimes see that so we'll go ahead and go right back to the play pa motion double posts uh, and i'm going to go ahead and try to call a regular cover two sink that doesn't have here's a cover two sink linebacker blitz that'll work so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do that again here cover two sink linebacker blitz against pa motion double posts uh, and we're, again, we're going to call the cover to sync, uh, just kind of mimic that. Now, again, right here, again, flat to Tyreek, hook the right linebacker, or I'm sorry, the right running back, and uh, you're going to have this manipulation on both sides. So you're going to see how this mid read reacts late. I've got, boom, this throw right there. Uh, hopefully you get a post flag elite right there to make the diving catch and hold on to that in traffic. If you have a regular player, they will drop the ball just like any other normal guy. Uh, you know how this game is built around abilities. Uh, so we're going to try to make that throw a little bit better this time. So peak of the route, boom, throw that, get the diving animation. That's what you're really looking for against the cover two. You can see the vertical hook does not get underneath that route. And then what you're looking for here is, let's say the user that post, you're going to be able to hit this, hopefully be able to hit this hook underneath. You see right there, boom, that's the, when we talk about the rat in the hole, the rat in the hole in a cover two re uh, refers to that three rat hook that we were just showing you or a spy that drops into this lane because what you have is this guy has to get deep and try to take away that deep area in the middle between the safeties. And then you have the hole in the cover too. So this is the hole underneath. This is where you see a lot of teams in, in uh, real life, they start to go to more of a uh, two minute approach and they play the cover two defense. Players will take that, teams will take that offensive check down to the running back in the middle of the field, every rip against cover two. And then you have to go to what Bill Belichick calls is the rat in the hole where he'll drop you know, this player, maybe this this player that's getting blocked, they'll just drop him into a spy that can kind of just sit right here and take away that throwing lane. But that's neither here nor there. I want to show you guys a little manipulation that could get you going with the auto motion and how to scheme around that with the PA double post action. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is another episode of the spread series. Make sure you guys follow the channel. Check out our content on playbook.gg. $9.95 a month will get you access to everything on the website. So definitely go check it out. I think we're going to go ahead and do a spread playbook project as my next offensive playbook on Playbook GG for a game plan. So uh, that should be coming on the website probably within the next month or so as I lab through that. But again, if you're really enjoying the shotgun content, Ant Cap's gun doubles is phenomenal. Check it out there. Otherwise, we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. 
And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.